So uh, Carson came over today. We're planning on starting about 10.30, working on the RX-8. I'm standing in front of a boat, so you know what that means. It's 2.30 in the afternoon, and we're working on a school bus. Thank you, sir. Oh, it's warm in here. Any bets on whether it's going to start or not? It ain't. like it's never even been parked for a year. We are, in fact, a struggling outfit here. Nothing. I'll be back. I was on my way. It's electric. Now we've got everything running and push out of the way. Let's do this. She almost died. They either don't pay any attention to the scraping noise as we drive Perfect. out of the tree. Maybe we can get past this shrub. Chance, why'd you so let So remember that? how everything was working? Oh, hey, everything's fine. Everything's fine. So the battery died in this, and we jump it now, and every time you let off the gas, it just dies. What it's doing is as the throttle blade is closing, there's some junk built up around it, and it has to relearn where the idle is. The, the option is to have a good battery, which we don't have, and it'll relearn eventually, and it'll know where to park itself, or clean all the shit out so that the throttle blade can close to where the factory setting is, and a little bit of air will still get by like it's supposed to. So we're gonna pull the whole air cleaner box off here. This, these hoses are hot. Yes, we can get the whole doodle out of here. See all this schmutz? So I'm just gonna clean it on the top and on the bottom. I'm gonna uh, put it back together. Try and start it and see what happens. Right there. What the hell? <laughs> no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Done. So, step one, we're gonna remove all of the cushion from the seats. The mice have already started to help us doing this. Step two, we're gonna remove all the seats in front of this one up to the front crash bar. Step three, we're gonna remove the top halves of the two middle seats on the left. Make a nice flat bench. Step four, we're gonna weld in some supports in between them, make a nice shelf. Step five, I'm gonna make a top shelf using the backs of the seats that are left and we might even attach a hinge to it. So yeah, we're taking out the bus seats. Straight amateur. This is nasty. You're watching, you're paying attention, you're doing the next thing. We could sleep on this. <laughs> Here, you need a pillow? I got you. Oh, no, dude. Don't get that anywhere near my head. <laughs> I give you. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> you suck so bad. <laughs> the fuck happened? <laughs> he made a mess of the entire bus with one seat. 
This is looking a whole lot different than it did 15 minutes ago, huh? Imagine if we started it right away. <laughs> so we're gonna unbolt from the rail on this side, and then we're gonna. You could try taking these bolts out, but it, it sucked ass last time we tried it. So we're just gonna grind them flat. But if we get this out first, then once they're halfway ground down, we just pry up on this side, rip the rest of the bolts out, and it'll be good. Cue montage. This is going all right. What time is it? Should we stop being loud? So I think we'll have enough room for a couple shelves or beds, however you want to look at it, with just these three frames here. I think we're gonna pull that seat out as well, actually. Cause do you plank on this? Sure. Like, that'd be sleepable, right? Oh, I'm very comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh, so I think we should pull off the stuffing and stuff off of this one. And yeah, I think then we should unbolt and remove this frame. Cause it's just, that's such a narrow passageway to get stuff in and out of. It, I think it's just going to be in the way. Right. Yeah. And we can't take this one out because there's a heater bolted to the Is bottom. Is the alternative of it. make like an enormous bed? Yeah, an enormous shelf yeah, bed. I, I mean, there. I had. That's fine. I think that'll be plenty, yeah. Okay. I'll tell me what I'm coming off, you piece of shit. You will, piece of shit. Uh, so got the braces all cut out of there uh, food came so it's like half an hour an hour later but we got some boards. I'm gonna put these in here. See how this looks. There's a bunk bed slash shelf thing. I don't think I'd want much less room anywhere. No, it actually looks pretty good. I think it does. I definitely don't think you wanna lower this at all. Then it's gonna be really uncomfortable getting in and out of the bottom one. And we definitely don't want any higher because you're hitting your face on stuff. It's actually pretty tall. It's, it's not bad. It's like legitimately like the height of bunk beds. You getting in or out of there, that didn't seem to be a problem at no, all. No, it, it really wasn't. I never asked, do you like guacamole? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good. I think it's pretty much the height of regular bunk beds. All right, tough ask. I'd like to see if two people can fit on the bottom. Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> like, that's doable though. Like, if you actually liked the person. Yeah. Like, I'm you guys look like twins right yeah, now with like, your outfits, like, by the way. In spoon mode, you can fit. <laughs> yeah, man. This is. This bed's. Like It'd be nice to have a little it. railing here. So it would be nice. As a shelf. Or, or for a bed. You don't roll off right. and die. 
to hold the mattress or whatever. Yeah. Something nice and steel to bash your face off. <laughs> exactly. Of you're well, Brandon, we could actually, we could rig up something from the center here so you could sleep like a bat. <laughs> like you still do. <laughs> there, three beds. <laughs> so we've got five of these already set aside. So we're kind of just going to lay this on top and see what makes sense to make a full frame for this. I would really like to have it so that, so that it can fold up. So that just expands like that. So that might make sense. But yeah, if we could get this so that this folds up, up like that and can lock up out of the way, I think that'll, I just think it'd be good to have this be able to be just a bench as well, or seats even. But yeah, we'll cut it here and then see what it looks like on top of here again. And then we'll try this one, see how it looks and go from there. Reinforcements. More. Dude. <laughs> no wonder it ain't just going through like butter. That's that's impressive, actually. Yeah, it's impressive for the bust. It's crash bar, man. These it's kids ain't dying like today. Like Yeah, I think so. So, uh, the whole railing system on that was kind of a cut your face off situation. And we were getting to the overcomplicated territory where we're having double hinges and it fold up against the window and stuff. And Carson goes, well, why don't we just put a piece of heavy duty plywood across the top and then that's done. You can just store that next to the seat. It was like, yeah, well, you know, we should use this as like, you know, this would be a good railing still for it to lock the plywood in and stuff. Well, we discovered that the extra rods that had fallen out, they're kind of good right in here. I mean, we could use the intermediate size and like make this the right angle and stuff. But look at this. Like, weld one more piece of rod on here to hold it, or pipe on here to hold the second rod, just at an angle there. And it's like perfectly level. It, it's just gonna work like it is. So we're going to cut another one of these, the same height we're going to try to with the hacksaw so we don't make a bunch of noise. Weld another piece of pipe right here, and then this is just going to work, I think. So after a lot of hacksawing, because it's about 10 o'clock at night now, sitting pretty good. We're going to take a piece of wood here, see if this is about level. I mean, they're pretty good. We have the second one of these now cut to the same height. It's a little long. We'll probably have to recut it. But uh, it fits on here decently. It's 10.45 at night, so we're having a little trouble with the hands working and stuff. We still gotta figure out how we're gonna lock that side and this side together. And we don't even know if we're gonna keep the pins that are in here. We made a mess everywhere. Are we gonna throw everything back in here and lock it up and deal with it tomorrow? <laughs> I guess so. You guys are still here? You know there's two bunks, right? Not cold. Where the fuck is your pants? <laughs> well, now that that's over and everybody's well rested, uh, back to work. Uh, so we were gonna just use these rods and everything's gonna be all loosey goosey, but that's when it was, you know, 10 o'clock at night. So I think now we're actually gonna notch this side of this pipe. Uh, if we cut enough material out of this side, we'll be able to basically bend it so it's straight up and down, and then that'll fit a lot tighter in uh, this piece here. So this is gonna sit just like this, but angle down more. Hopefully that'll end up with this being perfectly level. Then we'll figure out what's going on over here. I'm just gonna hold this, I guess. Yeah. 
See how that lines up. I think I need more. Dang. I'd like it just a little lower. So see how there's a gap on this side? I just want to cut this so it's flat and then we'll see how it looks again. Plus that'll lower the whole thing down just a little bit. So I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna cut this so it's flat. Yeah, 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 yeah. That part looks pretty good. Is it level? Looks okay, that looks pretty good. Looks like now, now that we've notched our piece of wood, we're sitting flat on here and flat on there. That's where we want it to be. We're gonna prep this a little bit so we can weld it together. We're gonna weld this piece right into the bottom of this so that you just take this whole thing out as one piece. That's pretty good. What are we gonna do for the next part? We're gonna cut this in half the long way on one of these pipes, hold it up there, see what it looks like. Go from there, I guess. So yeah, we took the pipe, we cut it the long way, sitting it on here now. It's actually lining up like right where it's supposed to. Why don't we weld a piece of pipe into this first. Put it on, weld put it on. Put it on, hold it with that piece of pipe, and then tack this on. This should still fit nicely. Yeah. Something interesting has happened. Now that we've got something in there, we need to be much more vertical than we thought. I mean, maybe the move is to make it like that and angle that. Bra. Oh, bra. 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 What are we welding first? This back together? Yeah. That's probably fine. Like, it doesn't get much easier to put in than that. That's nice. So I'm thinking we'll just take this and use it as like, that's what we're gonna make the front one exactly like. Uh, yep, that's what we're gonna do because that looks wow. like perfect. We'll basically be able to just weld another piece of pipe on the end of this for that to slide right into. That's sweet. <laughs> back of this nice and sturdy now um, so overall it's looking pretty good the only thing we still have to do is put a support under this so that that stays level obviously we'll get some nicer woods and plywood or something to make it all one piece but we can pop these right out of here store them right on the back of this totally out of the way on this side and then uh, if for whatever reason you know, we needed to put something bigger on here and that was in the way. Totally able to do that still. So, coming out pretty good. <laughs> All right, so we got that uh, fully welded on on both sides, so. This is pretty dang sturdy. Uh, what do I want on first? I think these, huh? Convert them to seats. Add a board. 
or two. And you got yourself a bunk shelf. Easily doubled your storage capacity on one side of the bus. And fairly safely sleep up here. Look at, we don't even tip on this side. This is pretty good, you guys. This came out pretty nice. Yeah, I think we're gonna call it a day, a, a second day. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to bed now. So, uh, we'll see y'all next time. <sighs> I, I think that was awful. <laughs>